Greetings to all. It is a joy to have you join us for daily devotions, brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. I'm Father Ruel Strawn, the assistant curate at St. Agnes Anglican Church, Grants Town, New Providence. Today is Monday in the second week of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who in the Paschal Mystery established a new covenant of reconciliation, grant that all who have been reborn into the fellowship of Christ's body may show forth in their lives what they professed by their faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. John. After Jesus had spoken these words, he looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you, since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them, and they have received them and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I am asking on their behalf. I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. The Gospel of Christ. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. When I was living in religious community at Lambeth Palace, one of the more emotional and challenging moments was the day we left the palace for the final time. The first of us to leave was an American at about 5 a.m. We all gathered near one of the palace exits, some of us still in pajamas, and there was hardly a dry eye there. We'd spent what had seemed like every waking moment with each other, for a year, and now it was time for us to go, to walk out of the doors of the palace and into the world, into the world full time. As you may imagine, that meant different things for us. The world to which I would return would be the Bahamas and ordained ministry, but some of my other brothers and sisters were returning to places like Zimbabwe and Canada, Uganda and Pakistan and to settings like university and seminary, homes for people with disabilities, and some even to the unknown. However, one of the things that the year in God's time taught us is that living in community, living as one, is one of the most challenging things to do, but also one of the most beautiful things when done right. When lived out fully, the community is not broken by time or space. In John 17, our Lord in his high priestly prayer sums up his ministry. He has come and made God known, and he has passed on God's message. The reality is, though, as some scholars put it, his followers will be left bereft in a hostile world and so our Lord prays for their protection, but also for their unity. That bond of unity which connects earth and heaven. 
the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and the disciples who are in the world. We are called to embrace the reality of Easter, a living, dynamic reality, as one theologian put it. At the same time, we are called to share this with others, not only by what we say, but what we do. When we who follow Jesus reflect that oneness in community day by day, we bear powerful witness to the world and we ought to respond to the call of Jesus to continue his mission in this world, to continue to bear faithful witness to the risen Christ who walks alongside us, who chairs us and guides us on our way as we share the truth of his resurrection. Yes, we find ourselves in many different spaces and settings, but in every time and space, as the hymn writer says, he bids us tell abroad how the lost may be restored, how the penitent forgiven, how we too may enter heaven. Alleluia. Amen. We pray together the Regina Cherley. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven, Alleluia. He whom thou was meet to bear, Alleluia, as he promised, hath arisen, Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, Jesus Christ, this vouchsafed to give joy to the whole world. Grant that with the help of his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may attain the joys of eternal life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Devotions, brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Please share these devotions widely.